I love this Min Mini theme. This is great. <laughs> I, I played the demo of this, liked it a lot, but apparently the demo is very, very, very bare bones compared to what is actually available in the purchased version of the game. So this being bundled with another game I was interested in, thought I'd go for it and try it out. We actually have settings, which is great. The demo just simply doesn't even have the graphic settings. It's just like the one volume slider for everything and uh, like low, medium and high graphics setting. That, that's it. That's all. So we actually we actually have settings here, including a mouse sensitivity, which is great. I'm looking forward to seeing what all is going on. I already got an achievement. I am doing it. Go. We'll go with the demo lady again. That's all right. We don't have anybody hidden away or anything hiding in the shadows. No. All right. Where I left off at the demo was we just bought the pawn shop. After you haggle with somebody, there's like a little haggling mini game that goes on. After you do that, it has you win another auction and discover the legendary item inside, in which case it was a katana for me. And that katana you bring to the gun guy. Hey, I think it was like 50 bucks and you wait an hour in game. And he's like, oh, this is a historic thing. Here you go. And it was worth like several hundred, but in bad shape. So I guess items appraisals were a thing in the demo. And then afterwards... You got to collect like 10,000 bucks to buy a new house, and then that's where the demo leaves off. We have the same map. Ah, bigger map. See, the demo is just this little starter island here. Oh, gee, the tunnel down there doesn't really go anywhere still. We have a second home location. The gas car shop, the pawn shop location, the locksmith? Yeah, locksmith. Also a blind auction thing going on. Yeah, all right, so we got a little bit more of a world to check out. That's interesting. New auction tiers as well. Buy the local pawn shop at level 20. Wah, okay. Yeah, all right. West Black Elk, East Black Elk, and Blueberry Village. Okay. Oh, yeah, I see. So we have, uh, like a level or a reputation there for that? Okay. Sure. Cool. All right. Performance is drastically better than the demo, actually. Like, by a lot. That's, that's excellent. Uh, car? Car? <laughs> Sorry from truck. Take the car, enter the car, drive to auction site, win the auction. Uh, yeah, I mean, auctions, we'll just sign up for the village people, eight to four. Yeah, sure. Oh, now I can do it. Yeah, all right, all right, I'll, I'll just follow. Yo, a different truck. It's not great, but it works clearly. There's a lot of different vehicles we can get in this. I don't think that was a thing in the demo. Garage door, select vehicle, stow the vehicle, let the garage just drive up to the door. Sure. WASD, driving is... a lot nicer as well. <laughs> um, is the music... Hold on, was there a streamer mode for the music? I'm gonna radio off just to be safe. I'm not sure... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's a little bit hit or miss sometimes with it. Oh my gosh, the brakes are incredible. Oh my goodness. What a dress. Oh, there's other traffic out there too. Whoa. Oh my god, those brakes. After playing the demo, like, I can't overstate, like, how awful the brakes were in the demo. That's a totally different game. You might want to update the demo, like, a little bit. <laughs> I think, I think the demo's fallen quite a bit behind. Uh, yeah, okay, sure. You may also want to have just straight up a button to press to remove the tutorial, because depending what the player's in the middle of doing, they may or may not have time to read that, especially if this game's in a language that isn't theirs, or they may be learning the language, or generally just a bit slow at reading. Just, like, keep it up on the side, and you just, like, press, I don't know, freaking insert or something to close it. There's a little bit more in this locker, too, I think, yeah? Maybe? Maybe? 
We got that guitar speaker. A bunch of just cardboard boxes, which I think is still just going to be trash. We have the storage container, some sort of a water heater. Uh, old phone and a cruddy little mic, is that? With an easel? And... Like an arrow? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to win this thing and find out. Mateo, Camilla, Dennis, and Ella. Man, I'm going with... Ooh, we only have the one, uh, one bidding option, I guess. Okay, so I can't just, like, jump them up by a hundred right away. Alright. Uh, oh, I was just about to. Man, this lady... Oh, gosh. Uh, 200 bucks now, what's that? Now I gotta go at least 20. Oh, goodness. Alright. I'm in. 222. Who wants it more than me, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Sniped it. Oh, my character's not on the side. Oh, disappointed. Oh, victory jump. Right mouse button to verify. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Cardboard boxes so get instant sold. Hey, we got the value and cost on this side now, too. It, that saves me a, a lot of editing. I... <laughs> <laughs> it was a, a good bit of editing I had to do for the demo to, uh, <laughs> to keep that updated. Excellent. I, I think mine was better, though. It's gotta be said. Oh, wind chime is that? Ah, okay, how's, how's the wind chime? Bad, but 20 bucks. Magazine, 58 bucks. Wind chime, 29 bucks there. Normal quality, 29 Bad quality 20, you already. Right. And we don't have any fixing tool right now. It's still locked. We got a bit of a tutorial to go through, but that's alright. Broken. Straight up a broken chest. It's also locked. I see. Interesting. Okay. We'll have to wait on that then, I guess. Let's see you back there, old book. Five bucks. Broken. Some broken old book, right? Guitar speaker and urn. 23 bucks a water heater. 99 bucks for a water heater. Something else I noticed in the demo. Just about everything. Train decoration. Just about everything went for like kind of sort of the same price. There wasn't there wasn't really a chance for you to lose <laughs> when you went in a when you win a locker. It was like Bare minimum value is going to be like 310 bucks, and there's there's no way the auction gets up that high. So pack items in the car, go to the pawn shop and sell them. Oh, I do have... I do have a pawn shop to start with. You move the sign back. This is coming up. Two M's. Makes it th just that much more sussy looking. Yeah, right. it starts in a half hour. Oh, I'll go for that one, too. By the time I get this loaded up, we'll be, uh, we'll be all right. Man, I'm actually, uh... Kind of digging the, the missing fence here, too. It's a lot easier loading stuff in when I can just pull all the way up in there. And then... Rotation. Do we have a reverse rotation? Control, Alt, no. I don't think so. That's still something I'd like to see is, because sometimes I rotate it just a little bit too far and I'd like to like go back the other direction just slightly. The wind chime, right. Because this is locked now. Oh, because it's locked now, I can't, uh, can't just use it. Crud. We might actually have to make, like, a couple trips then. But if we already have a pawn shop, it may not be so bad. Because we can fit quite a lot of things inside the pawn shop itself. Right. Let's get signed up for this next auction while, uh, while I'm here. We're also already almost level 2 with Blueberry Village. Well, that's nice. Bidding starts at 150. I like how everybody just waits for me.
Right, these red things. I don't know if these are going to be trash. Because the red thing that we had in that last locker was just apparently trash. I don't know why sometimes that's the case. We do have a painting, but it is an awful shape. Septic tank exploded on it. We got a little shovel. A little shovel with a tiny red dot. It's like it's got a laser sight on it. It's a precision tactical hand shovel. Also some maybe some shears. So a bit of gardening stuff going on. And a chest is actually in decent shape. With bidding starting at 150, I assume this is going to be getting up to at least like 310, 320. Oh god, she whistles. Oh, I don't, I don't, oh, he whistles too. I don't like Mabel and Rick. Come on. Not a fan of them. It's already 290, 310, 330. Oh my god. Do I go for it? I guess this is a good chance to see if you can actually, you know, not profit on a locker. Yep. 370, this is a... Remedy. Come on. These things are also just instant sale. Why are these always instant sale, those ones? This could have been something, I think, right? They're like just a old storage crate or so. So a couple tables, a clock, a toy car, the little shovel. Oh, a spanner is that? Sixty-five bucks, bad quality. And the chest, the good quality chest that's not locked. Oh, what could it have? Uh, oh, uh, hold on. I mean, I'm too short. A unique baseball trophy and toy symbols. With experts can have rare items verified. Each expert has a specialty responsible for their category. Give me some details. Drive the items to the headquarters of the appropriate expert. Cost and duration of verification. And the are longer, the rarer the item to verify. Okay. Sure. Pick it up in front of the expert head. They just leave it on the street for me afterwards. Great. I could also verify it myself, but I need a tier 3 tool for it, which is probably tens of thousands. But hey, alright. Excellent. We also have a chest to store stuff into like probably the biggest win here. I mean, this one sort of tipped over. That's fine though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ish. Yeah, okay. <laughs> fine. Get the table. Spin this thing upside down. Yeah. Get the speaker up in there. can just hang out here. Train decoration. Like a bookend. Oh, the painting easel I didn't look at. 13 bucks for the... Whoops. <laughs> uh, and then... E. A little bit of R. See, like, there I would have wanted the other direction, technically, but... There. And then just... Kind of lay this. No. <laughs> no, stop. Don't be so weird. Okay. It's... I love the easel behind, but it's alright. I don't think we have much of a drive to go. <laughs> it's all strapped in, I assure you. And the handling is like... Way nicer for the driving. That is crazy to me. And we just straight up own this pawn shop right off the bat, huh? Okay. So we don't have... Do we even have the... We don't. We don't even have the, the market thing in our PDA anymore. That is just gone. Whoop. Uh... 
go to the pawn shop and sell them. Yeah, hi. Verified at- Oh, this isn't my pawn shop, this is- Okay. Got you. Um... Okay, we don't even like haggle or anything for it. All right. Yeah, fine A little toy car the magazine those chimes The table the train decoration like it's broken. So some of the stuff I, I could hang on to it to try to Fix up and make better, but nah That's it. and this chest will actually just hang on to so we can easily cart stuff around myself then That's fine by me. A little bit more space in our truck that way, yeah? I guess we head to the locksmith then for this other chest and see what it's got inside then. See what that's all like. Am I just carrying it in? Hello, locksmith. Um, I don't remember how this worked with the sword before. Oh, okay, it just, it just knows, like, what's mine. 15 bucks in two hours. Well, the chest itself I can probably get 15 bucks for, so let's go for the in two hours. So basically tomorrow, because I don't know what your hours are. Oh, okay, we can pick it up tonight if we're kind of fast with it. Okay, and the only thing that's in here, then, is this baseball trophy. A sport thing. Who's the sport expert? Art, culture, fashion, equipment, military, sport, hobby, and toys expert. I can't click this to go to where they are on the map. Looks how you'd expect. I also can't, like, make a waypoint. Uh, okay, so we're heading kind of far up north for that, but fine. Basically, we're just following that road all the way to the T, and then they're on the road. I got gas for that? Yeah, I got gas for that. Okay. Out of the way. Gosh. This bridge doesn't, uh... Doesn't look great. <laughs> I think something... Something maybe didn't load in. <laughs> Alright. It's, it's fine. It's probably safe. I mean, concrete's... You know, it's a pretty stiff thing, though. We don't have, like, an evening auction up here by chance, do we? We're still just kind of cruising in the background, but that's fine. There is a junkyard at 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. It's, like, just about to finish. So, that's out. Maybe get a bit of gas on the way back. There's also a potential home we can have up here. I think the blind auction thing is up here. I'm curious how that works. It's like a proper little city up here, though. Really neat looking. Cool looking area. Uh. <laughs> I wonder if maybe things just don't uh, work great with changing video settings on the fly. Six hours and 80 bucks to verify a baseball trophy. Good God. All right. All right, what, what are my options, you know? I think between that flickering there and the, uh, that bridge, I might, might go for a quick restart. <laughs> quick, quick relaunch the game and see maybe something's, uh, maybe something broke changing video settings. How is it? Okay. So yeah, I do just grab it from you and then you plonk it outside for me. Ah oh, yeah. What do we got? Oh, it's probably not much. It could even be empty, I think. <clears throat> Spin it the right way around. Oh, oh a cowboy hat. 
And a silver bangle. Alright. Okay, I have no idea about those. Great. <laughs> Maybe it was worth it. It was probably worth it. This game is striking me as a type of game where it's always worth it. It's never not worth it. Like, I don't know if you'll ever lose bigly and be like, wow, this locker was actually a massive flop. <laughs> yeah, that fits. That's fine. It's already broken. Like, what's the worst that can happen to it, right? Grab the easel, and then I think that's everything here. Don't know if the pawn shop is still open. I didn't get its hours. Yeah, you see it? That's that's good. It's all bolted and strapped in. No, they're closed. I see the closed sign there. Yeah, right. So like, yeah, I guess like eight or nine. Okay. So we go home, and then unload the stuff into my garage, and. And we got a bit of stuff to make money early in the morning. I think we came out positive today. We'll get a rundown, I'm sure. Some of these nice bluer things like this cowboy hat. Heck yeah. And that's kind of it. I guess this broken chest. <laughs> we'll have the, whoops. Have this just at like the edge of the bed there. Can't store stuff in it while it's here. It's not really like a proper object. It's just there for looking at, but I can still plunk stuff on top of it if I really need to. Do I need a table anywhere? Maybe this guy. Oh, may as well be a little bit efficient, right? Okay, bedtime. A hundred per week for rent. That's a lot cheaper. I think it was like 500 a week. Yeah, spent 714. Okay, so we didn't really come out on top. Especially with the... Yeah, item verifications and all that. Right. Can I... Can I wear that hat, actually? That'd be kind of fun. Just, like, take it. Maybe once it gets verified, maybe? Because that'd be kind of neat. If I could actually, like, wear this stuff. Try out some other ones? Oh, those are 8 to... Well, that one's 8 to 10. This one's 8 to 4? We can try that. What's in the box? That's forever away. Okay. That might be a blind auction thing then, right? We don't, we don't know anything about what we're getting. Surely you can lose money on that, right? Gotta be. Because again, in the demo, it was pretty impossible to lose money. I don't know how you would overbid on a locker. Everything sold well. 65 and 69. Okay, and the chest, that's mine. Good, good, good. So while we're up there, we can also take a look at that sports memorabilia that we got, that baseball thing. Get the rundown on that. Maybe it's got a bit of a history to it. Maybe it's actually signed by Baby Ruthie, maybe. That'd be kind of cool. We'll go for the auction first and then swing by the appraisal afterwards, because we might get something else for them to appraise. From this, assuming I win. This is the only auction I signed up for up here. The first one I think is uh, well and truly done with and over, I think. Also headlights off, I don't, I don't think it matters, but just in case. <laughs> don't hit me. I'm here, thank you for waiting. <sighs> oh. So this isn't the blind auction, right? I'm pretty sure. Well, that's less exciting. We have a carpet, a desk thingy, a beach ball, a bit of trash, another crate-ish thing, saucepan, a little hammer. 
All right. Uh, I mean, unless there's something extraordinary hiding out back there or inside the box, there's like maybe 220 bucks worth of stuff in there. I mean, I'm, I'm in it to win it. We'll see. Yep. I'll sneak in there at the end. I'll let them rack up the bids themselves. Yeah. Oh, she's got crazy eyes. Yep. Amber looks like a psychopath bidding. 220, 240. We're getting close to the limit. At 280. 300. I haven't even. I am not even in yet, and we're at 320. 340. Yep. There's got to be something in there that they're seeing that I'm not. There is no shot this is going up to almost 400 bucks okay. without my intervention. I am in. I hope I lose money on this locker, though. <laughs> oh, look at me with a little victory dance. What a little show-off I am. There's a, a vice there, a uh, necklace there that I missed. 24 bucks on the necklace, device, 6 bucks, the rug, 26, that's instant sale unfortunately. The chest, we'll open that later on. Shelf for 49 bucks, it's unfortunately also instant sale there. I don't know why that's a thing. <laughs> it's disappointing. Those were like 20, 30 bucks in the demo. Uh, the basket ball, looks like a valuable, but sure. And the chest. Another painting. And a unique gold bangle. See, there's no way they would have known this is in here. Like, this is probably why they spend so much money for this locker. There is zero shot they would have known this is in here, though. That needs to be looked at. Alright, well, value 204 cost 400 so, uh, yeah, I got I got kind of creamed on this one, which is good. That's what I wanted to have happen. That's what should have happened, because this locker screamed not much value, and they got the price just way, way too high early on. I'm very happy I can lose. Wasn't something hiding behind the rug, was there? And, like, cover something up. Found ten items. Oh, yeah. Yeah, inside that, yeah. Still 10 items, yeah, all right. I feel like closed containers like this should be just like completely blind to NPCs and such. Ugh, don't kill me. Man, come on, I'm running at ye. This awful rug. Oh my God, this thing. kind of like that this isn't just like a flat 2D plane of a rug though. Actually got some thickness to it. I'm a little bit impressed and surprised. So let's pick up our baseball thing and see if we can salvage excuse me, what the heck man? And see if we can salvage <laughs> the day. I guess there is, to some extent also, while they may know the hidden value of stuff, I I don't, and I won't for a, a little while. So, I suppose there is that. What do we got? Give me something good. 308 bucks! Normal quality! Hey, alright. I can, I can do things with it. That might be something we hang on to, though, unless I really need the money. It might be something we hang on to until I can, you know, sell it myself and not just give it to some vendor. The pawn shop guys, though, is just going to buy it for whatever, but if I run my own shop, I can, I assume, haggle. And the haggling minigame in the demo was, like, just a little bar that goes across on the bottom and you, you, you click when it goes over a, a patch of green. If it goes over a patch of yellow, you get the price up a little bit more. If you get it over a green, it goes up quite a bit. And if you get it over a red, 
it uh, goes down quite a lot. And then there's like Gray that does nothing. You get two haggling attempts and then you gotta just take whatever offer is left behind. The haggling was neat though if you were okay with the timing of it because while you were pricing the item for 100 and they want it for only 80, you can actually haggle it up to higher than what you initially had. <laughs> Kinda busted. But if we can do that for an object that's already worth a few hundred, Hey, hi, your face scares me. Have most of this and take these ones quick because they're actively falling off my vehicle. And then that was a bad chest, which I guess it doesn't matter. It's fine, it wants me to earn a thousand bucks. I can't repair stuff yet. So for the moment, we're just gonna go ahead and sell. Market value 308. Oh yeah, the unique bangle. I should've... Uh, fashion and Beauty was up there, wasn't it? That was silly of me. Yeah. That was up there. We'll have to get that appraised at some point. I feel like I don't really have the money for an appraisal right now, though. It's getting a little bit expensive, honestly. And the baseball trophy. The little tiny painting. Yeah, we need a verification tool level 2. Don't have the money for the tools yet. We gotta earn money first. Whoa. Okay. Messages, huh? Oh, yeah, the locksmith from before. Oh, right. Yeah, we gotta earn that thousand bucks first, and then I can do the repair tools and all the... The repair tools are, like, busted, man. I wonder if they're a little more in-depth. It's a situation where there's no reason to not. You may as well always do it. It's always worth it. It doesn't cost you anything, and everything just gets, like, twice as expensive. We can do this. There's still time. Aha! Nice little local auction to end the day. That works out nicely. I like the bigger areas, the different venues. A little bit of, like, time management is required. Setting up appointments with the experts and everything is cool. Oof. <laughs> Handbrake is worse than the normal bricks. Okay. Antler mount thing. Some pipe. A few bits of probably trash. Silver bangle, I think. A gas stove. A crate back there. The desk. I'm wondering what that little red thing is there. Can't quite make that out. Okay. We'll see what happens with it. Um. A dog to like. A dog to like maybe 300 for this. I'd be happy if I can get it for under 260. Let's get in now, actually. Maybe we can intimidate folks. Bring it up 40 bucks. Whoa, okay. 272, we're nearing my limit. Oh, God, 350 to what? There's something good in here, and they know it. I'm not making this mistake again. Where am I? Oh, let's go for it. Come on, we can't have two losers in a row, can we? Come on. Uh, it's gonna be good. It'll be fine. I have barely enough money for gas tomorrow. Oh god, it needs to be great. Get the instant sale stuff out of here first. The horns. Fishing bait is that. Right. Okay. This big old gas stove. This chest. We'll save for the end as usual. Nice little teapot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what do we got? 19 bucks in the teapot. Gas stove. 100 bucks for the gas stove. The rake. 13. The pipe we're not sure on. The iron stove. 69. Nice. Pipe we, we don't know on the pipe. 
The fishing bait. Yeah, six bucks. I mean, it's this is just fishing bait to be fair. Thirty-five on the horns. The dresser. Oh, I can sell that for eighty-eight. The chest itself, fourteen, and inside a smoke grenade. Is that legal? And some blue tape. Two bucks for blue tape. That's a lot better than thirty bucks for blue tape in the demo. <laughs> Everything is 30-40, regardless of what it is. We got a couple nice things here. Some of the stuff we're gonna have to fix up to get our money back. Which is fine. Um... <laughs> see what I can do for it. Uh, yeah, that won't really fit. Alright, we'll just have to make do with what I got here. And some of the stuff like the tape and all that, may as well just sell to the pawn shop guy straight away. Man, how was this baseball in the way? What? Ugh, get out of here. There's just the nice expensive things that are in rough shape that fixing them up would be really good. Maybe the horns, 35 bucks. If I get those to normal, we can maybe get like 50 or 60 out of them, and that'll put us a lot closer to our cost. Yeah, I'm not sure how that's going to fit. Um, stove. Oh boy. It's always a, a little mini game trying to fit it onto the truck. I like it, though. It's It's up to you. And your creativity to do it. And then can we get... The rake in there? Because there is like a little... You can't really see it from this angle, but there is a little sort of support bar in the legs. There. That is a flat 2D point. But it's there. I, th I think it's there, and I think it actually exists. Very good. Okay, just kidding. We'll make another trip. <laughs> Help, I'm scared. <laughs> My truck is possessed. Please buy it quick. <laughs> uh, yeah, the rake will just sell the teapot. The horns we might hang on to, the fishing bait, no point, the tape, there's no point. Um, if I have stuff inside the chest and then I sell the chest, like, how's... How's that work? Does the stuff inside the chest just fall to the ground? The gas stove is normal, we can sell that. The horns we can fix up because we'll be able to get stuff from bad quality to normal pretty soon. The baseball trophy I'd, I'd like to hang on to, but at the same time, what do I think it goes for? Okay, yeah, the stuff just falls to the ground. Yeah, okay, also through. Okay, so he's but I thought it was like 400 something. Um, yeah, all right. It'll give us a good boost in touch because I don't really have money to win auctions tomorrow. I don't have a whole lot of choice here, especially if I send some stuff off to appraisal, which I very well may. We got like that smoke grenade. Can you can you appraise just like anything? Or does it gotta be something kind of sort of special? Yeah, okay, you can do the just basic blue stuff. 30 bucks, 3 hours? Yikes. Alright. I don't think it's gonna be a, a tremendous sale. I mean, it's, it's a smoke grenade. I don't think those are legal to have. <laughs> Let alone sell. <laughs> All right, though. 69 on the stove. 88 for the dresser. And the horns we were hanging on to. 
And then fashion and beauty for the gold bangle, the silver bangle as well. Like, is it worth it for the blue stuff too? I guess so, right? Yeah, I can't even sell unverified items. It's just the blue stuff I can get with the verification tool level 2. I'm probably learning to repair stuff first though before I do the verification, so that might actually be a little bit... Yeah, it's probably... probably worth taking it up to get verified. Buy a bit of gas, head to bed, restart the game. <laughs> See if that fixes some of the weirdness going on. Let's see what we can put together tomorrow. If it wasn't for that baseball, today was a, a big L.